Welcome back to the LAC3 video training series. This video will focus on applying the skills learned in the previous videos to map and configure a ground stacked array in LAC. To begin, select ground stacked array mode, populate the project details, and click continue. The venue tab in ground stacked mode is functionally identical to the venue tab in either suspended array mode. As such, drawing and editing venue planes follows the same steps and is covered in detail in the venue tab part of this series. When a new ground stacked array is created, the venue by default will include two yellow architectural planes. These planes are meant to simulate a stage as ground stacked arrays are commonly placed on top of them. The stage can be modified or deleted as desired, and the listening plane can be adjusted to suit the needs of the design. Clicking into the mapping tab reveals a familiar set of controls on the left hand side of the screen, and an image of a ground stacked array is placed on the virtual stage. Choose the appropriate product type, and then select the desired system type from the dropdowns. When setting the number of cabinets in a ground stacked array, both full range and subwoofer cabinets are included in the count. An array with four top cabinets on top of one subwoofer would be counted as five total cabinets. Using the dynamic X and Z coordinate fields, the ground stacked array can be moved around the venue as required. Under the cabinet section, a system compatible subwoofer will already be selected as the base of the ground stacked array in position one. This subwoofer model can be changed or removed altogether by selecting the drop down arrow and choosing a replacement speaker for that position. To add additional subwoofers, select the drop down above the subwoofer and change the model from the full range device to a subwoofer. Subwoofers can be stacked in cardioid configurations by selecting the rear model from the drop down. LAC will automatically insert the correct baseplate accessory between the subwoofer and full range cabinets to ensure a safe and stable mechanical transition. For subwoofers that include mechanical rigging, stabilizing baseplate accessories may be available to increase the footprint and stability of the ground stack. These accessories can be selected using the drop down below the bottom subwoofer when available. Once the correct products have been selected, the Calculate Angles button can be used to auto splay the cabinets to cover the defined listening area. As with suspended array mode, angles can be refined using the plus and minus icon in the angles column of the cabinet's dropdown. The baseplate accessory also provides an angle control for the transition to the first full range speaker in a ground stacked array. Ground stacked array mode features a tipping factor safety algorithm based on the center of gravity of the system and will display a red mechanical error at the top of the screen if an array is unstable or beyond the rated limit of the system. Corrective action should always be taken to resolve mechanical errors. Using the settings dropdowns, speaker presets can be selected. And for passive systems, the default circuiting can be defined. Just like with the suspended array, various acoustic mappings can be enabled in the bottom panel to visualize a predicted system response. Using the gain controls and the accessible calibration filters, the acoustic response of the ground stacked array can be refined as required. When the design is complete, clicking the configuration tab at the top of the screen will display the mechanical data associated with the array. In ground stacked array mode, the configuration tabs serve only as a reference to the mechanics of the array. Angles and accessories are displayed on the left side, weight and dimension information at the bottom, and a view of the array to the right. Expand the QR code at the bottom of the screen to import the array data into the ArrayLink app for reference in the field. As with suspended arrays, use the menu at the top of the screen to access the various file exports of the ground stacked array. Thank you for watching.